Hello, sweet souls. Happy Tuesday. It is June 18th, and this is your second reading. And I want to mention to you guys, the most attractive quality that you possess is self-love, confidence, not to get it twisted. Um, confidence is not ego-based. It's not feeling that you are better than anyone else, but it's knowing your own value and worth and loving yourself, placing yourself first, setting boundaries and giving equal, equal to what is received. Okay. All relationships have to be an equal energy exchange, but the most attractive quality you possess is self-love. Definitely. So somebody needs to hear that today. Uh, we're going to call on St. Michael, St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit, guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. I need to tighten this, guys, because it's getting wobbly. All right. Let's see. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does a collective need to be aware of? Truth and only truth for the collective. Yeah. So <laughs> flexible. You guys have learned um, not only to be flexible, but you've learned to be patient. And let's face it, in human form, patience is not pleasant. Uh, we are programmed to expect immediate gratification. We are programmed to be impatient, um, to expect things to come in immediately and not have to wait. But through your awakening, you guys have learned the art of patience and flexibility, which is amazing because what I see what's happening here because of your patience and your flexibility, the spiritual realm is moving you on to this beautiful energy of peace. For some of you, um, this could include travel or relocation, but they've been preparing you for soul connections, whether this is divine love, romantic partnership, or this is soul friendship, soul tribe. Um, the spiritual realm aligning people that are at your vibration, whatever it is, it's definitely a gift. This is a gift and a blessing for you. The bottom of the deck says poised. You've been in this waiting, high vibrational love energy, patiently waiting, and you're about to be blessed for it. Yeah. What's, what's under there here and now learning to be grateful for what you have and, um, being patient being patient and flexible. So let's just see guys, this is beautiful. All right. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I do have a couple appointments left for this week, schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio of TikTok description of YouTube. Holy spirit, please clarify flexible, flexible. Yes. You've learned the lesson of self-love. And from this lesson of self-love, pouring into your own cup, setting boundaries, you have become more patient and flexible with the spiritual realm. That's amazing. Please clarify to the sea. Please clarify to the sea. This is aligning you with your fate and destiny. Card number seven. This is your fate and destiny. That's what I feel. Whatever is destined for you, it's coming in. Yeah, it's going to bring in so much happiness, happiness and success. So because of your patience and you being flexible, the spiritual realm, uh, you've given them permission to come in and intervene, to intercede in your life. And they're bringing in something very special for you because what they're bringing in is something that brings in so much happiness and so much success. Please clarify soulmates. This is a change that's occurring. Card number 41, it reduces to a five. This is a change for sure. Soulmates. Yeah, look. This is a new path that you will decide to go on with a soul connection here. This is your justice. This is balancing of the scales. This is you finally receiving what's fair to you. And that's beautiful. I love it. All right. Some of you have been in isolation for some time and now it's time to, uh, to be guided out of that isolation because they are bringing in some sort of union here. Please clarify exchanging gifts, exchanging gifts. Give me one more exchanging gifts, exchanging gifts. Wow. Yeah. See, you've leveled up to this Empress energy. You are creative, loving, nurturing. You're abundant. You know, your value and worth and the gift, the blessing is 
the spiritual realm is bringing in this king of cups. This is someone that is highly intuitive, loving, kind, empathetic, emotionally mature. This is a masculine energy that does know their value and worth. This is someone that operates in the vibration of love. This is someone that's really going to empower you. This is someone that's going to um, be a, a strong confidant. This is someone you can tell anything to. This is someone that will share your dreams and your desires, okay? All right, let's clarify with another deck. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. With Flexible, we see you in this divine love energy, overflowing with love. All right, setting boundaries. Please clarify Flexible. Let's clarify Flexible. Yeah, calling in your good karma, judgment. This is a rebirth, an awakening, a new beginning for you to co-create with others, co-create with God and help others. This is very positive. Three of Pentacles is a group effort, a group collaboration, or you helping a group. And it's very positive. All right. So with To the Sea, we have the sun, happiness, joy, success. Yeah, making big plans for the future. Three of Wands can include travel, relocation. Three of Wands is definitely um, turning your back to the past, facing forward, and seeing that there is unlimited possibilities for you. Anything that you desire, you can create. Manifesting your desires. Soulmate, we can see you will choose to go down this path. And this is a new opportunity. And this is the spiritual realm bringing in what's fair for you with justice. Please clarify, soulmates soulmates yeah you are no longer in a victim energy victim mindset you've healed that and yes there are people from the past that are spying on you but what they're seeing is everything is is perfectly aligning in your life everything there is a lot of regret there's a lot of regret from past people that didn't do right by you you know they're sad these are people that had an opportunity to give equally to you and they, they chose not to. They chose to let the, the tower fall. And now, because you've been patient and flexible, you've done the healing work, you're going to be blessed with relationships that are in the vibration of divine love, like you. That's amazing. All right, exchanging gifts. Because you've leveled up to this Empress energy, you are calling in a very loving, kind, empathetic person. This is someone that's going to empower you, someone that's going to believe in you. Yeah, this is someone you will definitely take a brand new leap of faith. You will have a new beginning with this person. Whether this is a friendship or love, you are destined to take a leap of faith with this person. And I love it. Yeah. You're done with the energy of abandonment or rejection. You've learned these lessons. Um, you are keeping blocked anyone that tries to suck you back into the vibration of feeling unworthy or not good enough. This is good news for you because this is opening new doors for you. Wow. Yeah. You have the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, a happy home, a happy life. Yes, of course, you will be in your head and you will overthink when this offer comes in because you haven't had the best run of luck when it comes to connecting with people, especially romantic partners. But this is something that's solid <laughs> because it is a true divine union. This is new love. This is not old love. And this is definitely a high level soul connection, whether it's a friendship or romantic it's destined. It's destined. You had to just learn your independence. You had to learn that you are of very high value and that you could do anything on your own. And once you learned this lesson of self-worth, self-love, you were able to call in a high-level soulmate. And that's what's happening here. You manifested this person. Look, you manifested this person. This is amazing, guys. I absolutely love this reading. Okay. So let's do the Divine Masters deck and see what we get. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of? Truth and only truth for the collective. Okay. 
Okay. First card out is Ka Kalima. Kalima, divine severance. Cut the cords to dramas, fears, and limitations. You know, that's exactly what you have done because you recognize people that are low vibrational that drag you back into karmic cycles. It's just to, it's almost like to anchor in fears that you had from the past version of you. So you've recognized who you need to cut out of your life that are only try to instill fear or magnify past wounds or fears in you. So the divine has helped you to sever these cords. And with Lady Venus, light activation, call to action, power surge, earth mission. Lady Venus, Venus is love. You are being called to use that love energy to help others. You're being activated. And then we got Mother Mary. Oh, I love Mary. Mother Mary. Miraculous encounter. Divine experiences. Do not be afraid of being powerful. You hold the power within you because God is in you. And they don't want you to be afraid of that power, okay? Then we got Rumi. Mystical knowing. Breaking boundaries. Personal experience of God. You know, you're breaking boundaries of society, of societal norms, of what people wanted to project for you in your life and what you were expected to do. You broke through every boundary people tried to set for you because they're stuck in the 3D. They wanted to keep you stuck in the 3D, but you're too wise. You're too evolved to remain in the box that society wants to keep you in. So the spiritual realm has stepped in to set you free. Michael and faith, spiritual calling, divine protection, breakthrough moments. Yeah, you're breaking through all those boundaries, all those barriers because the spiritual realm is guiding you. How amazing is that? I love it. All right. So let me clear this off and we'll do the Intuit deck just to see what ending messages we have. This is a beautiful reading. This is a story of loss, pain, perseverance, survival, patience, flexibility, self-love, and reward. That's what this is about finally calling in the blessings that you have always deserved all right holy spirit holy angel saints spirit guides and ancestors for the collective what an amazing reading this is for the collective for the collective it's amazing you know what you don't see what you don't see coming right with the moon here is new love for the empress you have a new contract, whether this is career or this is actually love that's coming in for the empress because the empress, whether you're a man or a woman, you've done your work. You've done everything that you were asked by the spiritual realm to do. I also see someone that's very dark, very low vibrational in this magician energy. This is someone that could have been speaking ill upon your life, someone that is paying for spells, whatever. This person is having an awake up, a wake up call, an awakening, illuminated subconscious, emotional awareness. They are being awakened to the truth. The truth that they're being awakened to is that you're spirit, spiritually guided to move on to victory. You're gone. That's what I'm getting. You're gone. And you were the gift and you were the blessing. You hold this gift. And you were the stability. This person didn't see. They were tricked by the devil and they didn't see your value and worth, but but now you do. So you're being blessed with a new beginning. And you have no love to give this person that has absolutely nothing to offer. Page of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse. You will, you're not willing to make an investment in past energies. Look, Queen of Swords, you're, you're not interested in going back down a karmic path again you're just done you've gone through too much yeah you're abandoning the situation with the five of pentacles and you're letting the spiritual realm bring you justice which is amazing that's what we need to do right you have focused more on god your spirituality staying in this hermit energy learning as much as you can about the spiritual realm about your life your destiny your path um Part of this justice is you having a divine union. You having a high-level soul connection with someone that's destined to uh, finish this life with you.
You know, this story comes out all the time. We see a past person of yours that was in competition. They were jealous. They tried to block you. This person was very greedy, King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and they went into a union that's falling apart for money. And this comes out all the time. This person, their own greed, their own jealousy and envy of you has served to deceive them. They made choices from a low vibration, a vibration of greed. And that is what put them in the position to go into a union that is not ordained by God, that is falling apart. See, the cycle is closing. It's over. You, on the other hand, are receiving a new love offer from an emperor, your true match. Emperor to the Empress energy. For those of you that are looking for love, this is love. For those of you that are already in a committed relationship, this can be a, a business opportunity with a high-level person. Yeah. And, of course, people that gave to multiple that didn't see your value and worth sit in the energy of Four of Cups, feeling sorry for themselves, feeling sad because they missed an opportunity with you. They didn't want to know the truth, and now they can't look away from the truth. The truth is blaring in someone's face that you are amazing, that you are an empress. Yeah. This Whoever this person was to you, the blockage for them is they, they're bound to their own lies and deceit. They are stuck, refusing to learn a lesson, and they're stuck in the energy of cheating, lying, and stealing. Yeah, this definitely was a test of faith for you. Nine of Wands, you were the wounded warrior. You know, it was a test of faith. And however this was, they may have put you in a very unstable energy, whether this is physically, emotionally, or financially. But you're too committed and devoted in this star energy. And so you are bringing in stability with your own energy. New doors are opening with the full card here. Leaps of faith. Um, being a free spirit, not being afraid to take a risk um, that's aligned with your destiny. The fool to the wheel of fortune. Things are aligning for you. This is good luck, fame, fortune. This is your destiny. You know, I see multiple doors open opening for you, multiple options coming in. But there's only one that will come in that will make your heart sing. With the Two of Cups to the Six of Swords, this is a soul that will bring so much peace to you. And it's beautiful. This is a destined partner. Yeah, King of Cups, someone that's loving, kind, and empathetic. Someone that will take passionate action toward you that leads to victory, success, public recognition. That's amazing. All right, guys, this is your second reading. I love you, and I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.